in any town, in any school, I truly believe that the vast majority of kids are doing the right thing by their community, are doing the right thing by each other. The vast majority of kids come to school each day, they're respectful to each other, they don't bully or harass others. Like in the broader community, in schools, it is a small minority of kids who, for a range of possible reasons, fall into the trap of trying to make others feel small in order to make themselves feel bigger. The It's My School 2 program aims to empower the majority. When a young person sees somebody being treated meanly and they think that's not okay, we need them to understand that the vast majority of kids, most people around them, are feeling exactly the same way. There is something that bystanders can do to help solve that problem. We all have a responsibility to ensure that our school community, our community, is a safe and inclusive environment for everyone. We also want kids to understand that it isn't that difficult to get through your day without being mean to others. I can get through my school day without bullying someone because I've been bullied before and it's not a good feeling at all and because I feel like a leader when I don't. I can get through my school day without bullying because it's not necessary. I don't feel the need to do it and it doesn't help our school in any way. Having young people's voices heard and the messages of the It's My School 2 program is vital if we're serious about strengthening the culture of any school community. Any school that the program is introduced to, a team of students work with a program facilitator to create a series of media clips based on their thoughts and ideas that are shown with all students at the school as well as the broader community. Students, children and young people need to be hearing messages from each other about the importance of treating each other respectfully. It's hard enough growing up as it is without adding bullying and harassment into the mix. Every student participates in workshops facilitated by an My School 2 youth worker where media created by other students is watched and discussed and where students learn strategies and ways of responding as a bystander to incidents of bullying and harassment in non-violent ways. They are also asked a single question. Do you agree or disagree that all members of the school community have a right to participate in school life without being bullied or harassed? This last component is done with the support and input of the parents. We want 100% of students agreeing with the belief statement of the program. A perfect place to start when introducing the program. A large display board is set up where all the students who have agreed with the program's belief statements, names go up onto the board where it is displayed in a highly visual place in the school. It is no longer teachers and principals who are saying these are the beliefs and values of our school community. It is the children, the young people who have added their voice, who have added their weight as a majority to the belief that we all have a right to participate in school life without being bullied or harassed. A restorative approach is used when an incident of bullying and harassment does occur. We need to teach children and young people to better understand the consequences of their actions. We need to teach them to understand the impact of their behaviour on others and be part of the repair process. We also need the victim, the person who's been on the receiving end of our bullying and harassment, to be part of the repair process so that we can learn and move forward together. It's my school to empower students to play a role in making the school community a better place to be, but it doesn't end there. Don't we need to make sure that young people are developing a strong sense of civic responsibility that they can take with them into the broader community when they leave school? That's why it's vital we involve community organisations and representatives that can help young people understand that caring about each other and your community doesn't end when you leave school. We need great community role models that can reinforce the message that bullying and harassment isn't okay, isn't acceptable anywhere. Down at the footy club at Geelong, we have a saying, see something, do something. Um, it's, it's our right as players, if we say, see something that's not right, somebody not working hard enough, that they actually have the guts to stand up and speak and try and get the, the best for our whole team and the best out of individuals. Well, it's the same thing when it comes to the, to the school environment. When, uh, when you see something uh, not quite right, somebody being picked on, somebody being harassed, somebody not getting that opportunity to get the best out of themselves at school, it's actually your right to, uh, your responsibility, sorry, to stand up and, and do something about it. If you see something that you believe is wrong, 
such as bullying or somebody being treated really badly. Believe me, everybody mightn't be saying anything, but most people are feeling just like you. So why don't you be the strong one, stand up and say something. Here at the Braves, if we see someone doing something wrong, we speak up, we tell someone about it. At Waruna College, don't just sit there if you see bullying or harassment. Tell someone, talk to a teacher, talk to another fellow student. So let's, this year, at the beginning of the year, let's have us all on the one page. Let's not have any bullies in the school, as the majority of people want everyone to be treated the way they'd like to be treated themselves. But I tell you what I do think is tough, and what I do think is cool, and what I do think is great, is those that stick up for other people, those that get in and give a helping hand. If you want to impress me, and I'm not saying you all do, do that, because that is the coolest thing a person can do. Be there for other people. It's my school too, it's my club too, it's my community too. By empowering the majority, we can make real change for the better. We can strengthen our communities to ensure that everyone can participate in community life without being bullied or harassed. Everyone has an important role to play.